Hello YouTube, I uh, just wanted to take a moment and show you this original Xenon uh, 2006, it was January 2006, uh, it was built or manufactured, um, Xbox 360. So it's now May in 2012 and this console is still going strong. And I just wanted to um, maybe show you a little bit of the reason why. <coughs> so as you can see from this side, nothing particularly strange about it. The VGA cable on the back going in there and power lead etc but if I go on this side you'll see it's a bit different so that's a 120 mil scythe uh, slimline uh, fan uh, it runs at 2000 rpm uh, with a, obviously a white cage over the top of it um, that is connected directly to the 12 volt line on the power that's going from the motherboard into the DVD drive so with that on 12 volts uh, at 2000 RPM, it's friggin' loud, really, really loud. So uh, basically interrupting the power that's going directly to the fan is one of these, which I'll try and connect to, you can sort of make out. Not the best camera in the world here I've got, but as you can see there, and it goes into the chassis in there. And what that is, is one of these. It's a Zalman Fanmate uh, 2, which you can pick up. I picked it up off eBay for about... I think about four quid and basically that allows uh, with the little controller that's on the top up here allows stepping down the, vo the voltages from 12 volts down to 5 volts and anything in between so it allows me to control the fan speed keep the air going through it but with not as uh, as audible basically so um, it allows me to get everything to a suitable level to keep me happy while I'm playing the game because literally otherwise when it's at 12 volts it was way too loud so all that air is being pushed in from the side and that's going directly down onto the uh, CPU heatsink that's just below it and also um, the GPU has the, the Falcon GPU heatsink fitted um, over the Xenon board um, so that what that does is has the extra arm that anybody who knows about these things has the extra arm that comes out and, and that's also directly below the fan so there's plenty of airflow going over the CPU heatsink and that part of the GPU heatsink and to help in the airflow at the back <coughs> we've opened up the case as you can see here the exhaust uh, so uh, the metal has been opened up with just a Dremel and also the uh, plastic as well has just been cut away with a Dremel so you can see the standard uh, plug for it, the 203 watt plug the VGA connector that's going in, it's the non-HDMI model as you can see I just shove around here in the corner, you can see I'm just trying to block off the serial number for obvious reasons and um, yeah so I just thought I'd show you that, so if I turn the unit on I think I've got a DVD in here at the moment, let's have a look yeah, World at War, an old game So on the side here I can adjust the fan speed to lowest all the way up to highest. I'm not sure how well the camera or this iPhone is going to pick up on that but the louder it is is a bit annoying so I can kind of hit the middle ground in between and keep the console cool and hopefully prolong its life uh, that much longer. So I just wanted to show you that off so you can see the console is now up up and running, <coughs> it's running the latest dashboard uh, let's go look all the way down, system info, there you go, you can see 147190 um, it's not modded in any way so I can still obviously connect to Xbox Live and test my network connection uh, test Xbox Live I'll leave that testing for a minute so while it's doing it so yeah now you can see you can't make really make out on this video that the fan is uh, is working underneath there um, but I just thought I'd give you an idea of what that looks like so maybe some of you guys might be out there thinking I might just try this just to mod my console just to uh, maybe prolong its life um, a little bit longer and that's what it looks like because it's a slim fan it's not a massive 120 mil fan it's not that much of a pain on the extra uh, on the height difference 
and as you can see that's finished and there you go it's all fully connected to Xbox Live ready to go so there you go uh, thanks for watching and please rate and subscribe